Hi, I'm Dr. Megan Bowling, and I'm one of the physicians at Carolina Conceptions. I'm here today to talk to you about Invisel, which is a new form of IVF that we're offering. Invisel is an exciting new technology that Carolina Conceptions has been one of the first clinics in the country to adopt. We've had excellent success with it, and so I'm here today to talk to you about how it works. This has been a real game changer in the world of fertility. Um, traditionally, fertility treatments have been thought of as, um, you know, expensive and difficult to access. And so the goal of Invisel has been to make a more cost-conscious option for patients who require IVF um, to allow more access to this type of fertility treatment for patients. So um, we've had outstanding success with Invisel so far um, and just want to give you more information about it today. To understand Invisel, you first have to understand traditional IVF. So I just want to briefly go through that with you. With a traditional IVF cycle, um, the majority of the fertilization occurs in the laboratory. And so leading up to those procedures, a woman will undergo fertility treatments using hormone injections that stimulate eggs on her ovaries to grow. She goes through these injections for about 10 days and comes into our office for ultrasound monitoring um, as well as estrogen checks. And once the eggs or follicles get to be the right size and we know they should be mature, we have her undergo an egg retrieval procedure. And this procedure is done in our office. It's done under sedation, so similar to a wisdom tooth procedure. The procedure itself only takes about 15 minutes to perform and what we do is go in with a vaginal ultrasound probe that has a needle attached to it and go through the vaginal wall into both ovaries and we're able to pull out each of the eggs that have grown. Now with traditional IVF the patient wakes up and um, is able to go home and then the rest of the procedures happen in the lab for the rest of the day. And what happens specifically in the embryology lab is that the embryologists perform a procedure called ICSI. ICSI stands for intracytoplasmic sperm injection. This is a process where um, the embryologists select out the best looking sperm and they're uh, able to actually inject one sperm into each egg with a needle. And this um, kind of guarantees that the sperm um, will at least enter the egg and ideally fertilization will happen. Now we have embryos growing in an incubator in our lab, and they stay in that incubator for five days until they're what is called a blastocyst or an embryo that is about 100 cells big. Then what we do is select the best embryo for embryo transfer, and the patient comes back into the office and um, undergoes the embryo transfer procedure. And this is a painless procedure. You can be wide awake for it. The worst part about it is you have to have a full bladder and what we do is put in a speculum and then use a little catheter to inject um, one embryo into the woman's uterus. Invisel uh, differs from traditional IVF in a few ways. So um, these ways are critical in cutting the costs of the Invisel procedure. And so the first way that Invisel differs is that we use a lower dose of medication. This is a more gentle, minimal stimulation of the ovaries, um, and because we're using lower doses of the medications, the cost of the medication is much lower compared to traditional IVF. Um, the woman also only has to come in for uh, a few ultrasounds this time compared to IVF, so typically only two or three ultrasound visits are required before she goes through her egg retrieval, and so this saves time and cost as well. Egg retrieval is the same whether you're doing Invisel or IVF. Um, you go in under sedation, remove the eggs. But with Invisel, what we do is actually um, take the eggs that we've harvested and combine them with sperm in this device. And this is the Invisel device. And what happens is when the sperm and the eggs are together in this device, what will happen is what would happen normally in the human body is that the sperm will swim up and find the eggs, fertilize the eggs naturally, and embryos will start to grow in this device. 
And so what we do is once the eggs and the sperm are together in this dish, the patient is still um, asleep under anesthesia after her egg retrieval. And literally about 10 minutes after her egg retrieval is complete, we have the eggs and the sperm in this device and this is then inserted back inside the woman's vagina. And this allows the woman to become her own incubator. So she provides the perfect temperature, the perfect um, gas concentration that is needed for healthy embryos to grow. And so when I show patients this device, they look at me like I'm crazy and are concerned that they are definitely going to feel this device. Um, but it doesn't happen. So because the device is kind of high up in the vagina like a tampon, women do not feel it. We actually use this little diaphragm to hold it up in place. It doesn't fall out. Um, and, um, you know, women just go about their daily lives with this in, in the vagina for five days. And so what happens next is the patient comes back into our office five days after the egg retrieval and uh, we remove the Invisel and then open it up back in the lab and we will see embryos growing. And we're able to do the same thing then. We're able to identify the top, the top embryo that she has and perform the embryo transfer with that. And then if she has leftover embryos, we're able to um, um, freeze those embryos. And so, um, over 90% of our patients have a top quality embryo to transfer after Invisel, and um, uh, over half of our patients actually have embryos left over to freeze. Now one of the differences with Invisel is um, that because we're using lower doses of the medications and we get less eggs, we ultimately will have typically less embryos compared to a, tradi a traditional IVF cycle. But the quality of those embryos is still excellent. And so um, the, the pregnancy rates are almost equivalent to that of a traditional IVF cycle. And um, in the event that you want to continue building your family down the road, you can use one of your frozen embryos um, for that without having to go through the egg retrieval again. So ultimately, by using this device, um, the cost that is associated with the embryology side of things from the ICSI procedure to the, um, the culturing of the embryos over the five-day period um, is, is cut out of the picture. And so Invisil offers a much, much more cost-conscious option. So we are so excited to offer Invisil to our patients. Um, it has really taken off over the last two years. We're one of the first clinics in the country and in the state of North Carolina to offer this technology. Um, and um, we have had, since we started um, about a year and a half ago, we've had almost 50 patients go through and over half of the patients have achieved pregnancy. Um, and so we're seeing rates that are very close to traditional IVF. Um, and so we're finding that um, for um, good candidates for Invisel that pregnancy rates are, are very similar to traditional IVF without having to pay the cost of IVF. One thing we like to talk to patients about is to find out if you're a good candidate for Invisel. And, um, you know, Invisel works best for patients who have a good ovarian reserve, meaning a good AMH level, um, and women who are ideally under the age of 38. Um, IVF success rates, whether you're doing Invisel or traditional IVF, can decline as a woman um, ages and enters into her late 30s and 40s. And because of that, um, we often encourage, um, you know, women in those age categories or women with a low egg count to do traditional IVF for the best outcome. Um, Invisel has been a, a wonderful resource for um, all sorts of different types of patients. So. Patients with polycystic ovary syndrome have had great success with this. Patients with uh, fallopian tube disorders um, or even patients who've had a prior tubal ligation have had success with this procedure. Um, and a lot of our same-sex female couples have now adopted Invisel over traditional IUI as um, a great route to go because they're able to use one vial of donor sperm to achieve multiple embryos 
and be able to build their family and have genetic siblings for their children um, using just one vial of sperm rather than having to purchase multiple vials for IUI, which has a lower success rate. Invisel is also a great way for same-sex couples to achieve um, pregnancy and allow both, both women to be part of the journey, um, where one woman goes through the egg stimulation part and then the other uh, woman can carry the embryo herself. And so both women are, are part of the process and that has been a really awesome journey for our patients to go on. We would love to see you and answer any additional questions that you have for us about the Invisel procedure and uh, any one of our four board certified uh, physicians, myself, Dr. Park, Dr. Meyer, and Dr. Couchman are happy to meet with you in clinic and go over your case individually and find out if Invisel is a good treatment option for you. So we look forward to seeing you and thanks again for watching this video.